Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to take a look at the walk command. So, walk is another of the exploring commands where it lets you move through the model. This one specifically is something you'd use with full-size models, like real, real size that in real life would be something you would walk through, you would move through in, in real time. Um, so it is a great, like I said, exploration command where you can actually get in there and move through the model. Uh, and it does work really well with like interior models where you can go into the building and walk around or something like that. Or even bigger exterior models where I want to walk around and explore like a landscape or a big open space. Very cool command and we're taking a look at it right now. All right, so I have this model. These are big, these are big shapes. These are house size shapes. And I'm gonna drop in here and we're gonna walk around and, and just check the space out. I'm gonna start very simply by using position camera. So position camera is gonna let me drop my model directly in here. And these commands, the, the last couple of commands we've looked at here in this series, position camera, look around and walk are kind of all meant to be used together. They're, they're kind of a, a group of tools that you would use in concert to explore a model. So I'm gonna start by positioning camera. I'm gonna tap right here. That's gonna put me in there. It's put me at a five, six eye height. And we mentioned this before, by default, after you use position camera, it does put you in look around so you can look around and see the model. Look around, however, is anchored. I'm stuck at that point where I first clicked in. So it's gonna put me in that same spot. If I switch to walk, walk is none of these, none of these commands are actually in the default toolbar up here. I do have to tap the little ellipse at the bottom and bring up the overflow menu. They're part of this, this section at the bottom right down here. And uh, there's position camera, there's look around. And the next one is walk. So when we click on walk, what this is gonna do is it's gonna take your stylus and this is the easiest way to use it is to tap the screen and then slide up to move forward, slide down to move backwards. If you wanna move forward and to the right, you can kind of up and to the right like that, forward to the left. So it's gonna move, basically have you walk along whatever you're on in the direction that you're dragging. The further you drag, the faster you will go. So let me, let's back up a little bit and let's run at that pillar. Ready, we're gonna go fast. See the higher up it goes, it, it goes drags real fast. So if I go down like this, closer to where I first touched the screen, it's gonna slow down. Now I should point out, you can do this with other methods. So I can tap and hold to pick that first point, and then I can start dragging and things like this. But it is probably the easiest to do with the pencil. Same with the mouse, I can click in, in, on a point and then move around, but uh, it's this is the easiest way to do this. So I mean, it will show with the pencil. So like I said, I can. what I can do is I've been kind of just jumping and forward, that kind of thing, but I can navigate and move by holding the pencil on the screen. So let's say we're gonna walk up here, we wanna turn left around this cube and walk that direction. I can tap in the middle of the screen and drag up. And then as I start to get near that cube corner, I can drag to the left. And that's gonna turn me around there. Oh, hey Sal. And then I can keep dragging here and then we'll go around this next cube by just dragging to the left. There we go, and now we're back out here. So something else that'll happen is, I do have a little bit of interference uh, awareness. So if I tap here and start dragging backwards, I'll drag backwards, drag backwards, drag backwards, and then if I ever hit anything, okay, I managed to back through that, that whole section without hitting anything. That was impressive. All right, let's try to run into something this time. All right, so I'm gonna back up this way, and then eventually you'll see Man, I can't hit anything. This, this, you know, I practice this. These, yeah, I, we always practice this stuff before we record it. And I'm always, yeah, just ran into something backwards every time. All right, let's try that again. So if I start backing up and then, all right, come on, I gotta hit something. All right, there we go. I stopped moving because I ran into, if I turn to look around, or there we go. See, I ran into this surface right here. I smacked into it and then I couldn't move anymore. So it stopped me from moving that, that direction. So it will do, it will automatically figure that. It will also step up and down things like stairs. So if I have small pieces of geometry, it will actually move over them or upstairs. Something big like this, if I go smack right into the side of this thing, 
it's going to go, eh, you're done. I'm not moving anymore. So it knows I can't step over that because it's well above my eye height. But if I have something small like stairs, I can actually drag and step right up them. It is a, a great way to navigate through, uh, through models. It does take a little bit of practice. So I will recommend if you want to use this to show, you know, an interior design to a client or a spouse or something like that, I recommend trying it a little bit just get used to how it works. But once you have it down, it is an awesome way to explore models and kind of move through space as if you were standing there. So another good command, one of those, one of the exploration commands, like I said, one of the ones where you get to get in the model and move around. Uh, it is, it's actually pretty fun to use. It's not, you know, I'm not going to say it's like a moving through a video game, uh, but it's kind of like moving through a video game. Uh, it is a great way to explore interior spaces, especially if you have a finished building to actually move through there. It's something you just can't do with orbit or pan or anything like that. Because when you're doing that, you're moving the model and you're not actually taking the camera and moving it into uh, the space. So I do recommend checking out, especially if you spend a lot of time looking at the interiors of your models. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Do you use this? Have you? Did you even know it was there? Do you have some other ideas for what would be good videos? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.